Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time round. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors... Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fupa feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fupa feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. Very well. I'll bring you a Fupa feather. Brilliant! Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Remember, a well prepared witcher wizard always has a few potions on hand. Here's the Fwapa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. 
Should you chop the dead knee or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Adura's potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was... Skeptical, given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Ugh, my robes are going to reek from Gareth's inspiration for the rest of her. I weaken well potions utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from Jay Pippins. That's the best you can do, is it? Explode those! I'm 
Resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. To take care of everything I had asked you to do. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind 
and a steady wand. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Expelliarmus. You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Levioso. Accio. Incendium. Expelliarmus. Still at it, I see. Professor, do you have a moment? I do. What is it? I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Although, we got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigellus Black for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. Uh, I, I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were, uh, students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. Time itself? I never would have imagined such a thing. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Ah! As you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle. Expelliarmus! This looks intriguing. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A portkey brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. 
and I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us, which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll, and Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! They must have come this way! Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be so... <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid You should I never have I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. I got it. I got it. I It in such a manner, then so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story. Thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya? Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical, hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a travelling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. 
Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has a symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Sweet is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Akio! Incendio! Merlin's beard! The flames make the pyre sink. Merlin's beard! How beautiful! What a day! I can hardly believe it. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Sweet, which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books.